You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Here we have more on Tilda Oxford. Enjoy! Tilda was just leaning over by the balcony. Her elbows were, but she was just looking out into the distance as if she was looking over into oblivion. Shinya couldn't help but sigh. <sighs> Man, and I thought I was the only one who had a bit of the downside. He came over to Tilda. Everything okay? He asked. You know, it's been really a slow day today. I guess I really don't want to bring anybody down, especially not you. I just feel like there's nothing exciting going on, Tilda said. Shinya just put a hand on her shoulder. Don't worry. I'm sure maybe something will come up. Yeah, I know. As if his words were like magic, Tilda could hear something in the air. What is that? Is that music? Shinya, did you do something? Uh, no. I didn't do this. Why do I hear music in the air? Do you hear that? <laughs> I guess so. That's when Tilda stood on her tippy toes, leaned forward carefully, and peered over and saw something. <gasps> Holy cow! Those look like abominable snowmen. Whoa, they're huge. And that looks like it's been sculpted out of ice. What the hell is going on? Shinya couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> I've never seen you like this. Wow, would you look at that? Nymphs? Mermaids? <laughs> Mermaids? Oh, they're just in tanks. What the frick is going on? Even Maggie was displeased. Hey, what's with the freaking parade? What's going on? I did not do this, if that's what you're thinking. Then there was a trumpet sound. Dun, 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 dun. Tilda couldn't believe it. What the freaking hell? What's going on? Uh, Shinya, find out what's happening. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think that's been already been taken care of. Jennifer was speaking to the person that was blowing the horn, and he was announcing, Queen Juno and Princess Alyssa wants to see Miss Tilda Oxford. Jennifer looked up at Tilda in surprise, but Tilda just shrugged and mouth the words, I didn't know they were coming. Jennifer managed to say something. The guy bowed, and then he marched off in some sort of water-based looking carriage. Princess Elisa came out. The same time Juno did too. While Elisa was more smiling and waving, Juno felt a little shy and timid, but she remained with grace and elegance. That's when the queen said something to the rest, and they suddenly vanished. <gasps> what the? Even the water people were gone. Alyssa waved. Hi, Tilda. Can we come in? Uh, you don't have to. I, I mean... Juno said, Listen, I wanted to owe you an apology. I'm really sorry about all of this. Can I... Can I speak to you? But then she noticed. Oh, you have a friend. Yes, this is Shinya Haragi. Sure, you can come in. I was surprised to see you.
It was at that moment, later on, that Juno was just picking away a little bit at her treat. Alyssa just nudged her. Oh, come on. It's not gonna kill you. It's not that. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> just eat. We're here to have a little conversation. Uh, it's a good thing I got frozen yogurt. I can't help but think that this resembles ice cream. It kind of does. You two aren't going to eat? Juno asked. Nah, it's fine. It's been a really slow day. Tilda said, rolling her eyes. <laughs> That's what she mentioned. So, you're queen of ice? Yeah. Ice queen, snow queen, frost queen, you name it, Juno said with a small laugh. Alyssa also giggled. <laughs> and I am the mermaid princess, water princess, uh, aqua princess, you name it. <laughs> the titles just get way out of hand, but eh, it puts bread on the table. Shinya just smiled. Hmm. That's quite delightful of you ladies. I never knew these two ladies actually gave your blood in for you. Oh, um, yeah, about that, Juno said. We, um, she was trying to find the words to say, but Alyssa helped. I guess what we're trying to say is, um, it turns out Somebody actually took our blood test and actually transferred the blood to you and explained about your tragic past. I'm so sorry about your parents. Alyssa said, It's okay. Tilda said, sadly. Thank you for coming. Juno felt really guilty. I'm really sorry about what I... Don't be. It's okay. This means so much to me. I feel really grateful. I really feel happier. Thanks a lot for making this up. But next time, don't bring in a full parade or something, okay? <laughs> it's part of the royalty. I gotta have servants and you know, squires and knights. All made from ice. Not all of them are made of ice. The others are coming in, but, um, you're not gonna plan on staying here. Not that I, I don't mind it, but, um, I don't know if there's gonna be enough room. No worries. I'm gonna be staying at this little nice, um, cottage I used to go to. Really? I thought only royals just stay at nice palaces. <laughs> you forget, I may be a queen, but that doesn't mean that I don't like the whole old-fashioned things. And this is before I became queen. <sighs> oh, Tilda, I've been hearing about your performances. Do you mind if maybe... I can give it a try. You can sing too? Yeah, and so can Juno, remember? You never told me that. Yeah, we did, remember? Oh, yeah, sorry. I think I might have forgotten about it. It's okay. <laughs> it must have been a long day. It's, it was a boring day. Really dull. But anyway. However, Alyssa couldn't contain herself. Please, please, I really want to try this whole singing. 